what's going on. This first video today is going to be about Donald Trump saying uh, and Mitch McConnell saying the impeachment trial, what have you, sidestepped the coronavirus, um, his awareness, and my reaction is, <laughs> yeah, right. He knew. He knew. He fired a lot of the staff last year that was towards the diseases. If you are the so-called commander in chief, everything comes through your desk at a certain time. It's usually six months to a year. And anything that's going on in different countries and you're in touch with different countries and their presence and what have you, you are aware of stuff. It is very fashionable for him and for his uh, flunkies to say, oh, he was tired of because of impeachment trial. Well, who brought that on himself? He did. Why would the, why was Congress staying up late at night? Because there was enough to impeach him with. So whose fault is that? Him. <clears throat> Dumb Donald never likes to take responsibility for nothing. His arrogance and his smugness is the reason why situations is what they are. And even having said all that, upon it happening here with 15 initial people that he said, he still downplayed it as a joke and called it a hoax and blamed the Democrats and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. He's done everything but to say, yeah, he got blood on his hands, that he should step down. That he's very fortunate that no one is pressing criminal charges against him, but they should. You know, um, you know, he is dead on like a deer in headlights twofold with this whole situation. Hasn't had an idea of how to deal with it. Hasn't had an idea to lead the way. You know, he's been like lost, which he is. The problem is, is those flunkies and those followers of his who drink his Kool-Aid and walk around with rose-colored glasses on refuse to acknowledge his inadequacy and also his awareness, his lack of awareness. It's just a lack to be a leader. Talk a good game of bullying, but like most bullies, when they get punched, how do they get back up? He ain't never got up because he ain't never throw a real punch. But this thing here... Is a bad joke to say that the impeachment trial or this was, that wasn't the case. They run stuff through a desk all the time. They tell you to be on task. There's a lot of things that could have, should have been done. And they're playing catch up. And what's happening is the numbers are lagging with behind because he's two to three weeks behind the process. And you're and the thing is, is they're playing catch up to get everything up to date. By the time they got stuff up to date, it's going to exceed a lot more than it should have believe that and he has no one to blame but who he sees in the mirror but he won't he'll blame it on anything he can he'll blame it, he'll blame it on uh even if we don't say mike pence's hair was giving him a distraction he'll say anything because he thinks his followers and people will flock and believe everything he says and he will look the other way which he's done it when there's real problems Anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about him saying impeachment trial sidetracked his coronavirus um, forecast. What do you think? Hit that like and subscribe and the bell rings in the new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clearer. Watch out for one another. And don't be believing these politicians. They all full of it. I'm out.